welcome back to my channel it is lydia if you're new on here hey what's up welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button your girl is trying to get to 225k before the end of jan so help me out on my journey if you're not new what's up welcome get to the back <laughs> how are you doing <laughs> When I say that, I mean it as in we're so casual, you can just sit at the back, you already know what the routine is, you know? So today I'm so excited because today I am making mango habanero wings. If you guys have been to Wingstop, you know that is the best flavour. In fact, in the comments, anyone who's eaten at Wingstop, let me know what is your favourite flavour because mine is hands down mango habanero and <clears throat> I'm even embarrassed. I'm embarrassed with how many hours I spent researching the perfect recipe for this. But yeah, we're well, here we are. I have all the ingredients and um, yeah, now I want to make it. So we're going to spend today, Sunday afternoon, having a very chill day making, well, chill afternoon because at this point it's already 4.35. And look at how dark it is outside. Like, it's really dark. Winter in the UK is the ghetto. The ghetto. But let's get going. Even the reason why I wanted to do this because I've got sweetened mangoes, I've got ripened ma sweetened, I've got ripened mangoes in my fridge. And one thing about Lydia, I don't eat ripe mangoes. I'm Kenyan. We have raw mango with chili and salt. I don't do ripe mangoes. Like this is, it's giving me the ick. <laughs> Can you imagine that ripe mango is giving me the ick? But this is actually what inspired. Because I was like, I don't want to throw the mangoes away. These mangoes, these are actually real Kenyan mangoes from Kenya. As you can see, I didn't get to eat it fast enough, so it actually got ripe. And I can't throw them. This is organic. This is export. This is high quality, like delicious. Look, it's even ripe, but it's not even as ripe as it normally would be. This is too ripe for me. This is too ripe. I like my mango green inside, green. But, um, I hope it'll be fine because I don't know why I sniffed it. Um, it should be a lot softer than this, realistically. Go on. You forced me. Might as well have one. Is this going to work out? That's not very sweet. <laughs> not my plan in the gutter already at the first. Hmm. It's fine. It'll work. It's fine, it's gonna have to work. I've gone and got some chicken already. I already washed it and cut it. I also got this. This is um, rapeseed oil. I don't like the name of this oil. Like, I don't wanna say even the way it's written, but it just gives me the bad vibes. But I know that my auntie told me that this is actually a good oil to use when you are frying stuff, because we're gonna need to fry this chicken. I'm definitely gonna have the recipe linked for you in the description box, so do make sure to open that up to see what I did, um, I'm the babe who definitely, <laughs> if I like something, I'm gonna try and remake it. If you haven't watched, um, during Vlogmas, I actually remade one of my favorite dishes ever, which is ramen. Oh, I love ramen. But every time we order ramen, we just spent so much money ordering it. So I figured, you know what, let me figure out the recipe. And now I have it. And so this is another thing that I spend a lot of money on in delivery. So um, for this new year, your babe was already del deleted the app. Delivery is gone, Just Eat is gone, Uber Uber has to stay because sometimes I use Uber but Uber Eats is attached to Uber which is so annoying but I'm not trying to order like we got a wedding to pay for, we have a lot of stuff to pay for for life so I need to cut back and I'm going to do just that. Do we have a blender? Lydia, you didn't think this through at all. Do we have a blender? I know we have a blender. Let me pull it off. Where is the blender? Do we have a blender? The, the little one. Where's it at? That's a good question. <laughs> Maybe underneath the oven or on top of it? Maybe. Uh, well, it's not gonna be Oh, one yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the white, it's a white base, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. What, what are you making? Habanero Wait. chicken. mango juice because this mango really is not it really is not sweet at all wait do you agree it's actually sour it tastes like it's only gonna get more sour it's not gonna give us mango habanero 
So I'm gonna go look for sweet mangoes and if not, because it's actually past the time for shops to be open, most shops, some shops close at 4 p.m. Sunday trading rules. So I'm gonna go and see if I can supplement this with some thick mango juice, mango puree of some sort, to just make it like sweet mango, guys, because this is not it. goodness i found another mango in the fridge that was a lot more riper than the first one you can tell the difference look the one on the top is the more ripe version and then the other one is <laughs> it's looking white at the bottom there that's the one that wasn't so sweet so it looks like i'm gonna be all right but i might just add a little bit of mango juice the mango juice that i got um just a little bit for a little bit of flavor but look at this it's so much better so i'm feeling good back on track Instagram has to hear about this. This is the first time ever me making mango habanero chicken wings, like the one from Wingstop. Double frying the wings. to get a taste test from my fiance. Mm. Baby, I have to be honest. It's mango heavenly. Very banging. Very banging. Mm. But really very. Mm. I haven't even had one. Let me have one. It's Is a it? bit thick. What, the sauce? Yeah, but it's really nice. Really, really nice. Oh my God. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's good. Really nice. That's really good. Out of 10? I'm making notes. I just don't like the Let's say 12, but I'm going to say. Right. So, Dot is about to try on the wings. Try on. Try the wings. It's spicy, by the way. That's strange. Oh. <laughs> it's like hot and sweet. Yeah. It's called mango habanero. That's the whole point, Dot. It does taste like spicy mango. God, this reaction was a bit underwhelming, wasn't what? it? <laughs> I've never had the real ones. Either. You never had the real ones, so you can't really tell. I have nothing to compare it to. Okay, but give us a taste on that. I wouldn't buy oh, this. Wow. <laughs> she said she wouldn't buy it. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's not a flavor. She wouldn't even buy it. That's not a flavor I would choose. Babe, give us one last review. The camera cut off earlier. I, I thought they were really, really good. There we go, guys. I'm gonna link the recipe for um, the wings that I made down below. And I guess I'm gonna have to see you guys tomorrow morning. I need to order a dress for Dot's do domination. What? Graduation. When I say domination, what's that? Domination. I know, right? Mm. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. Domination. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's weird. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So we're in Dot's car today. We need to be looking, I say we, the two of us, are looking for an outfit for her graduation, which is tomorrow, guys. Tell me why I've left this 
last minute like this i was even trying to do an asos order do you know asos have really nice dresses actually um sincerely osa if you guys know Owosa, sorry sincerely Owosa has been posting a few reels with asos dresses and i'm just like god damn they look so good but there is no time to order that for next day delivery because we're leaving for the graduation tonight so there is no time so we're gonna pull up here and pop into zara hopefully i can get something from zara just a simple dress or something but that is the plan for now as you can see there's some lovely winter sun i am loving it i hope I hope this stays around because mm, anyway, we're still so far away from summer. from um zara zara was such a flop today i don't know about you guys but i feel like sometimes zara make clothes for like for non-curvy girls because everything was so short all those dresses were just so so short and i'm just thinking is it because i've got a a round but it takes up like half the dress so there really that wasn't that many options but i went for the first dress that i tried on that black um black and white dog tooth one i believe and i'm just gonna go for that in, for tomorrow like it's it's smart enough it's cute enough it will do for tomorrow i am now just here putting together my makeup kit my makeup um packing it for tomorrow we are leaving later on this evening i need to pack and i also need to show you my bedroom oh my goodness bedroom updates <laughs> guys you're gonna see it looks so cute there's only one last thing remaining that i need to get and i need i might need some of your help um with that one i i don't like asking for help especially in regards to decorating my house but when i do ask for help you guys have always been very helpful so um i'm gonna ask you guys for help regarding that but first i need to put together my makeup kit and the way i do it when i'm going somewhere i just basically pack in the order that i do my makeup then that way i never forget anything so like eyebrow with the brush that goes with it with the concealer that i use for it and then that's done and then i do like my foundation which means i need my primer first so primer with the foundation with the brush that i'm going to use for it i need to wash my brushes tbh yikes dot uses the chanel powder this white one i think it's the number 10 chanel powder girls run and get it though um was it simi simi was telling us that they've changed the consistency of the powder so the white the, the old number 10 is different to the new one but i'm still gonna get it because that oh the way it just cleans up your makeup and it just makes you like it, the finish is so beautiful and i've been meaning to try this trick that i think i saw uche saying about like was it uche or was it nikki secrets i think it would have been nikki secrets but then I think all she also said about like dampening your beauty blender and then putting the powder and then putting it and it just looks so good. I want to try that tomorrow. Maybe I should actually try that today. <laughs> it's not always a good idea to do new makeup when you're kind of in a rush. But that's one of my resolutions this year. I want to be spending at least one hour every single week on just practicing makeup. Like not doing makeup because I've got work, not doing makeup because I'm going anywhere, just sitting here utilizing this room that i built for it to be like a space for me to practice my makeup because that's something that i really want to improve on i really want to improve my makeup skills just for myself i need to just be able to do it by myself um which reminds me i need to cop marion moose's brushes as well supporting black owned businesses you guys know um speaking of which actually oh, honestly smooth and segue didn't plan it but my pjs these are black owned these are velvelux like so soft they're so cute this was like an engagement um engagement gift from velvelux thank you so much everyone who's been sending us love presents champagne <laughs> I especially love those who have sent champagne like you people are high on the list of people being invited to the wedding that's a fact okay so yeah shout out to Velvelux black owned you guys were still rocking with the black owned businesses still supporting as much as we can but yeah I need to cop Mario Moose's br brushes because I gotta support really and like I said this year one of my resolutions in fact let's talk about resolutions really quickly I'm gonna give you two of mine one do I even want to share my resolutions? 
I don't know, I feel like sometimes when you share resolutions, it, like people actually can hold you accountable to them, but I guess that's a good thing. But my first resolution is basically routine, like get into routine, set a routine and then keep to it because you're not always going to be motivated. That's one thing that I have, I know for a fact, I've always known that. You can't simply rely on your own kind of motivation. You can't rely on your own like zeal and your own zest to do things because the, the truth is, you're not going to do it like you're going to have days where you're pumped you're going to have days when you go to bed early and you can wake up early and go to the gym but what really counts is those days when you don't feel like doing it the days when you don't have any motivation that's when routine is important so that's something that i really want to like really get into in 2022 routine 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 so making different routines that i actually stick to because this one of 5 a.m club in the morning waking up at 5 a.m it's all well and good saying that i want to wake up at 5 a.m but if i don't put it as part of my routine to go to bed early to eat early to go to all my to finish first of all see when you think about routines it goes all the way back so a simple task like waking up at 5 a.m in the morning okay let's be honest 5 a.m that's just disgusting okay 7 a.m <laughs> simple task of waking up at like 7 a.m every single morning requires you to go to bed the night before on time which requires you to make sure that you do all of your errands on time whether it's going to the gym whether it's eating dinner which means you need to cook on time which means you need to finish work on time so if you have a routine of everything if i have a routine for the times that i finish work if i have a routine for the time that i have my dinner if i have a routine for the time that i finish at the gym it would lead to me finally getting to bed on time which would actually lead to me being able to wake up for that 7 a.m but if i'm just going off vibes uh, that's how I end up in bed at 1am as usual like last night I went to bed at 2 30 in the morning and I woke up at 10 o'clock and that's just not conducive to the kind of goals that I have for this year so routine is literally one of my biggest resolutions you guys let me know in the comments what are your biggest new year's resolutions do you have loads of them do you have a few I literally have like three I literally have like three because I don't want to overwhelm myself but yeah please share in the, in the comments below what your resolutions are and how you're planning on tackling them because guys i know that this is a little bit later on in the month for us to be talking about resolutions but resolutions should be things that you resolve for the whole year so not that it's like coming to the end of january and now you're thinking you know resolutions is a thing of january 1st no we need to ensure that we actually hit our goals goal orientated babes focus this is the year of the bag I keep saying it year of the bag it's gonna come to you but you have to make sure that you go to it and label yourself to reach that goal you know so yeah you have the you're the bag you're the routine let's get it anyway let me just pack all of this and then i'm going to show you the bedroom updates you guys are going to absolutely love them and then let's get to this graduation guys we are so excited for dot everybody wish dot a congratulations because this has been a long time coming um she was meant to graduate i think a year and a half or two years ago but you know corona restrictions lockdowns times affinity just meant that we weren't able to go and graduate or she wasn't able to go and graduate so finally happening we're so so proud of her like such a superstar um the baby of the family finally graduating and it's like it's gonna be emotional i know it is so yeah let me get this done and it's gonna be a great day tomorrow it's myself my fiance my sister-in-law my brother my mom and my dad so it's gonna be a really nice family shindig and i can't wait to just give you guys this little sneak peek i haven't actually asked dot if she's okay for me to record this so i'll probably just give you guys little recaps of the day oh i need to pack my skincare as well so there's that just about to show already i'm recording the screen by the way because you look too cute Doesn't it just? And look at where it is as well. Oh no, I love it. I haven't. Oh, it looks so good there. Oh, thanks. And then yeah. I put that one there. And then got a little, um, what do you call this? Laundry bin. Yeah. The artwork above the bed is stunning. Isn't it just. And I, do you know what really goes really well? The fact that look, it's gold. It's like it's gold rim. Gold. Yeah, it's gold rims, which goes really well with the gold there. Perfect. Yeah, the, the bedside table is fitting perfectly. Really, really nice. Like, this is how it looks. <laughs> I feel like it's complete now. Well, to be honest, it's probably just like a rug. I'm still thinking about... The thing is, I have a rug. I just don't know if I want to put it... Should I put the rug out or not? Initially, it's meant to basically uh, 
um, be right underneath the bed and spread out a little bit. Wait, the and whole it, like the whole bed? Yeah, it's meant to be literally under the bed. But what happens mm -hmm. if it's a small one? They meant to have like two on either side of the bed. But I think that there's no point in it then. Yeah, I don't know if it's wide enough for it to go like. Yeah. A, but that would have been nice though. That would have been that really, really, really nice. Nasty. Really nice. oh, look, it's, so good, man. it's nice, isn't it? Look at that. I'm happy. So I guess the only thing, as you say, yeah. Oh, home just... sense. Wow. Yeah, home sense, right? <laughs> oh, the thank you. I love the mirror. This is my new favorite thing. Literally. It makes big. Way big. And what do you think about this one? It's beautiful. It fits right in. It does, doesn't it? So nice. What about here? Do you think here's missing anything or not? No, you don't need anything. But one thing that I wanted a little bit of help from you guys is trying to find a rug like i need a rug that is huge basically i need a rug that's this size i've already looked at rug of obviously that was actually the first place i checked i only have like um selected sizes and it just doesn't fit mine doesn't fit here but i asked already and she literally said the rug should be from one end should cover like the bedside tables all the legs of the bedside tables should be on the rug on the rug and then a little bit front here so this size that i require is a bit awkward so you guys let me know is it like how do you guys if i can't find a really big rug i'm thinking about using like maybe two rugs so like buying two of the same rug but if you buy two of the same rugs then you're gonna have like the split line do you know what i mean like it's gonna have like a little bit of a split which i'm not sure about but you guys let me know please if you can what would you do and can you find me a rug this size and also ideally like a creamish kind of color that's what i'm going for Well, we are all ready. Ah, what am um, what called my phone? Sandra, not my wedding planner. Sis, I got a graduation. One second. Good morning, Mrs. Mpanga. Hello, good morning, Albright. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Just a very quick one. I just wanted to give you an update. That yeah. I've been sending out outreach emails to venues today. Yeah. From this morning. Yeah. Um, I've sent out about five so far. Um, so. I'm just still looking around for ones that look within the, the, the right budget. Yeah. And just letting you know that things are getting sent out. That's things are motion. Oh, amazing. So Thank once you. I start getting responses, yeah. I'll let you know. Right, so as I was saying, um, got to the graduation place now. Oh, so everybody looks so cute. I'm so proud of everyone graduating. So we are here um, to graduate dot or for dot to graduate. Very excited. Got ready in like 20 minutes, guys. We got in yesterday at 1. 30 a.m in the morning it was late and the fog that i was driving through you guys would be so proud of me because one thing about me is i actually don't like driving in the dark but as usual i am that person just because i don't like doing something doesn't mean that i'm not going to do it and i don't want to make a habit of not driving in the dark because then i will develop a fear of driving in the dark you know um so as much as i don't like it i still do it and i still have to practice it and in fact i was insistent that i drive as opposed to my fiance driving because i need to get more comfortable and what better way to get more comfortable than having him like right next to me as I'm driving at night so yeah that's why I drove last night but um, we're here we're ready to celebrate Dot so excited so happy <laughs> I'm not this man taking my sunshine <laughs> so Wow, guys wow as you can see we are back back in london the last time that i had you here in this very position i was literally recording my secret recordings of the proposal <laughs> when i was sure that my boo was about to propose to me if you haven't watched that video i'm going to leave it here for you guys to go and watch we're back in london now what a day it what a long day <laughs> What a long day, but what a beautiful day. I am so, so glad with how today went. I even bumped into some people. That was amazing. And even people bumped into my own fiance asking for me. <laughs> 
thanks for all of the love. We feel so much love. Literally, everywhere we go, we feel so much love regarding the engagement. Even today, on a day that wasn't our day. But um, it went so, so well. Dot has finally graduated and we're so proud of her. This is like a long time coming. Should happen two years ago. But finally, finally happened today and we're so glad. So I just wanted to come and quickly wrap up the vlog and say thank you so much for watching this far. Guys, if you've been watching all the way to the end, please don't forget to click that thumbs up button. It really, really helps. And I'm always thinking like, if the video is watched by X amount of people, then X amount of people should like it too. You know, because the likes really, really, really does help the channel out. Click the like button, subscribe, send it to a friend. And guys, I'm gonna have to see you in my next video. I'm about to yawn. Like, you know when you're so tired, it's just... It's getting me, y'all. It's getting me, but so glad to be back in London. So glad for the day that we've had. I'm gonna have to see you guys on Sunday's videos, Wednesdays and Sundays. We go again, we're back on. This wig is coming off, makeup is coming off. Go and follow me on Instagram. Find yourself something to do if you're wondering what to do now next. Go follow me on Instagram and let's get to it. Year of the bag, year of the bag. Good night guys and I shall see you on Sunday.